Okay, let's get into a little daily racing. Multiplayer Gran Turismo Sport. We're going to go to the Group 4 race at Laguna Seca. We're going to take the Audi TT. And uh, apparently we're going to qualify 7th, which is a position. And I guess if you're an optimist, you could say, hey, I'm the leader of the back half of the pack. It's definitely a way you could put that. At any rate, I know I haven't recorded a video in quite a while. What can I say? Let's get back to it. Can't seem to drag my driver ranking above B, but uh, whatever. At least my sportsmanship ranking is S. I don't seem to be able to climb out of that B hole that my driver ranking is in. Lol. Okay. We are in there. We're in the lobby. Uh, we're going to skip ahead to the uh, meat and potatoes of this video. Okay, let's get this race underway. And as usual, the general rule of thumb whenever you're playing, you know, online multiplayer racing, whether it's this or ACC or whatever, is try to do your best, try to keep it clean. Um, but you're always going to be placed against people who are going to out-qualify you. And if you're me, people who will out-qualify you by a lot. <laughs> so, usually, the way that you sort of gain positions is by not making mistakes when everybody else is making mistakes. Um, or to try to really put pressure on the guy in front and see if that pressure will make him crack and make a mistake. So, if you can make fewer mistakes than anybody around you like those two guys just went wide and I, I gained a position out of it, I didn't gain two but that uh, dude right there definitely held on to his to his position, Leo Bravo but that's, that's the name of the game in these just let everybody else around you make the mistakes and if you don't make the mistakes you're going to gain positions so I've already gained one position here on the first lap now we just gotta try not to make any real big mistakes and just stay in the slipstream of the guy ahead and be as consistent as we can. Okay, so this Leo Bravo guy ahead of me, as you see right here in the braking zone, kind of makes a mistake, gets a little bit crossed up in his braking. So he's definitely faster than me. He, he absolutely outqualified me. Oops, sorry about that, dude. But he's definitely mistake prone. So my hope here is just to kind of hang on close to him and see if he makes a mistake that's big enough to where I actually can go by. Look at that. Two more big mistakes. And before the end of lap one, I've gone from P7 to P4. Not because I'm very good, because I'm not. But just about staying consistent and... Letting everybody else make all the big mistakes. At any rate, I'm at P4. It's only a five-lap race. So now I can taste a podium. I can taste a podium, and I'm starting to want it. Starting to want it real bad. So now I'm just going to try to stick to this guy like glue, stay in his slipstream, and hope some of his minor mistakes that he keeps making somehow turn into a major mistake. Or if he keeps battling P2 for that second spot on the podium, maybe they'll take each other out. Who knows? But one way or the other, you got to be close enough to take advantage when something happens. And that's the goal here. Now to shift topics here a little bit, I have heard a rumor that's saying they're whoop, there he goes wide and then of course I immediately screw up and go wide so don't really gain on him at all but anyway um, the rumor mill is saying that uh, they're targeting a 
first quarter or first half of 2021 release for Gran Turismo 7 on the PS5. Which sounds nice, but it's another one of those things I'll believe it when I see it, because if there's any series that is utterly notorious for delays, it's uh, definitely Gran Turismo. Ooh, squeezed up on him, and hit sausage, which immediately makes me run wide and makes him pull out several dozen car links ahead. So, he keeps making little minor mistakes, I keep making little minor mistakes, but, uh, I'm just holding out hope that his tally of mistakes will exceed my own and I can get by because granted this is only a five lap race and we're, you know, three laps in we're on the third lap, two and a half laps in I guess oh, yeah, and I really have to slow it down to keep from kerbonging him right there in the corkscrew but at any rate, the longer this thing goes on, the more desperately I want to get on the podium. But desperation is not good for consistency. And that's, that's the goal here. Just starting to penultimate lap here, and it's starting to look like Leo Bravo is about as desperate to get past that Brazilian in P2 as I am to get past Leo Bravo. They're starting to really battle up there, and hopefully, hopefully that slows him down. Because I definitely want another chance before this race is over. Okay, final lap. Final lap. Oh, oh, man. I really had to slow down there to keep from hitting him. If I... Man, I just can't... I can close up on him when he makes a mistake, but I can't make a legitimate attempt to pass when he does that because I just... You know, I'm not going to dive bomb him. But, man. Oh, look at that. They're battling. They're hitting each other. Well, he's hitting the Brazilian. Leo Bravo's hitting the Brazilian, so... So he's, he's battling hard, but it's slowing him up, and it just so happens that every time he gets slowed up, I can't take advantage. But i got to stay close. Got about a half a lap to go. Okay, there's no getting him in this uphill run here. Because that corner right there is just too fast. There's no overtaking there. Will he screw up in the corkscrew? Like he has before. Nope. Nope, he actually makes it through there reasonably well. And I'm bouncing off the rev limiter because I'm not short shifting or shifting fast enough. I love the way that splitter on that right side almost hits the pavement. Going through rainy curve as that body rolls over. And, oh, oh, look at that. He went wide. He went wide. Oh, and he gives me a little love tap. Clearly, he's not happy about losing that position, but right on after the last corner of the last lap, we gained a podium. And that, ladies and gentlemen, from seventh place in five laps in a reasonably well-balanced uh, balanced performance across the cars, I will take it. Woo, which goes to show you, consistency is uh, 
oftentimes greater than outright raw pace. And there's our P3. Look at that. And we got a clean race, too. Went up four positions. Awesome. Well, in the end, that was some pretty hard racing, but, but, but clean racing. The uh, Leo guy was a bit sloppy with hitting the Brazilian and, and hitting me at the end there but uh, and making some mistakes, but that was just a little bit sloppy. That was not dirty. That was, uh, that was really good, clean, tight racing. At any rate, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.